Today we're unlocking the secrets of the cosmos with the James Webb Space Telescope as it reveals stunning observations of Cassiopeia A, the youngest known core collapse supernova remnant in our galaxy. These groundbreaking discoveries offer a rare glimpse into the dynamic processes that were critical during the universe's formative years. In this video, we will explore how these revelations are revolutionizing our cosmic theories, delving into the details of these observations, and their profound implications for the field of astrophysics. Cassiopeia A, a stellar tapestry woven from the violent demise of a once mighty star, offers a rare observational treasure trove for astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope. As the remnants of a supernova that exploded approximately 350 years ago, Cassiopeia A provides a snapshot of cosmic events that shape interstellar space. In unprecedented detail, Webb revealed that carbon monoxide is predominantly found in the outer layers of the ejecta, surpassing the concentrations of argon. This observation is vital because it indicates that carbon monoxide can reform after the initial explosion and endure through the reverse shock phase of the supernova. This phase occurs when expelled material from the explosion collides with the interstellar medium, creating a shock wave that moves back toward the center of the supernova. The persistence and reforming of carbon monoxide are key to understanding how cooling occurs in the aftermath of a supernova, as it allows for the condensation and eventual formation of dust particles. Dust particles are fundamental building blocks for the formation of new stars and planets. By tracing the conditions under which CO reforms, scientists can infer the thermal history and chemical evolution of the ejecta. Moreover, Webb's detailed spectroscopy provides insights into the chemical composition and distribution of elements within Cassiopeia. A. The spectral data show sinusoidal patterns of CO's rovibrational lines, a signature that reveals the dynamics of molecules reforming under high energy conditions. These patterns are not just a scientific curiosity, they map out the processes that likely occurred in the early universe, where similar supernova remnants could have seeded the first galaxies with the dust needed to form stars. Furthermore, the detection of other elements like silicon, magnesium, and calcium, in conjunction with high levels of CO, supports the theory that supernovae are capable of producing a rich chemical diversity necessary for the galaxy's evolution. Each of these elements plays a critical role in various aspects of cosmic chemistry, from the formation of rocky planets to the development of life's building blocks. The revelations from Cassiopeia A have significant implications for our understanding of how cosmic dust is formed, challenging the previously held belief that dust mainly originates from the slow and steady winds of aging stars. Instead, Webb's findings suggest that the violent deaths of massive stars, such as supernovae, play a pivotal role in dust production. Traditionally, astronomers believe that most cosmic dust was produced by intermediate mass stars on the asymptotic giant branch. These stars, through their gentle stellar winds, were thought to slowly expel dust into space, which would then be incorporated into new star systems. However, the observations of Cassiopeia A indicate that supernova remnants can rapidly generate significant amounts of dust, suggesting an alternative pathway for dust production that is both faster and occurs on a larger scale. This shift in understanding is crucial because dust is a fundamental component of the universe. It is not only a primary building block for stars and planets, but also plays a key role in the thermal dynamics of galaxies, absorbing and re-radiating energy throughout the cosmos. The ability of supernovae to produce dust efficiently means that these explosive events could have a much greater impact on the evolution of galaxies than previously thought. Moreover, the insights gained from Cassiopeia A also shed light on the resilience of molecules like CO in extreme environments. The reformation of CO after the reverse shock suggests that molecules can survive, or even form, in the harsh conditions following a supernova. This resilience could explain how complex organic molecules, which are the precursors to life, might form and persist in space, potentially leading to the development of life on planets formed from the remnants of dead stars.
The findings we discussed challenge conventional astrophysical models and offer a new perspective on the role of supernovae in enriching the interstellar medium. Building on this perspective, traditional models have often viewed supernovae primarily in terms of their destructive capabilities, dispersing elements forged within a star into space upon its explosive death. However, Webb's insights into Cassiopeia a highlight a more nuanced role. These remnants are not just dispersing elements, but are also zones of rich chemical synthesis, actively contributing to the chemical enrichment of the interstellar medium. This realization necessitates a revision of existing models to account for the dynamic and constructive role of supernovae in galactic evolution. Furthermore, the detailed observations of varying levels of carbon monoxide and argon within Cassiopeia A underscore a complex chemical interplay occurring post-explosion. This data reveals that molecular formation within supernova remnants can withstand extreme conditions, challenging previous assumptions about molecular fragility in such violent environments. This revelation opens up new avenues for understanding the resilience and adaptability of chemical processes in the cosmos. Encouraged by the success in Cassiopeia A, astronomers are now poised to apply similar investigative techniques to other supernova remnants. This could potentially unveil a diversity of chemical behaviors across different remnants, each influenced by its unique pre-explosion stellar conditions and post-explosion environmental interactions. Such studies promise to broaden our understanding of stellar deaths, offering more comprehensive models of their contributions to galactic dust and chemistry. In bridging these insights, the role of supernovae is seen in a new light, not only as architects of destruction, but also as essential contributors to the cosmos's construction. Each observation and model revision brings us closer to a unified understanding of how the universe crafts its diverse array of celestial bodies and complex chemistries. As we further explore these celestial phenomena, the potential to uncover new cosmic truths remains boundless promising exciting advancements in our quest to decode the universe. To Thank you for exploring the cosmos with us today. If you enjoyed this journey through space and want more, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, keep looking up.